Hey guys, welcome to Twin Flame Truth TV. I'm Elhari, Twin Flame Alchemist, writer, teacher, and coach. And today's episode um, is kind of a continuation from the previous episode um, where we discuss the role your Twin Flame plays in this journey. Um, today we're going to discuss the role that you play in this journey. You presumably are the push energy, right, of you and your Twin Flame. So, um, as we discuss with um, the role the Twin Flame plays, and you can check that out on my YouTube channel under the playlist um, Twin Flame Truth TV, um, you know, uh, they have their specific role, which I won't go into again because I did that in that video. <laughs> so, just check, check that out. Um, you also have a very specific role. And again, like their role isn't conscious. They're not really conscious of their role. You aren't either until now that I'm telling you what this role is, right? So your role, the specific role of the push energy twin flame is to lead and to teach. Well, you teach by leading, by doing, by showing. Your role is to lead your twin flame into alignment with your soul and really teach by showing them how to unconditionally love you, right? Um, so let me explain this. Um, first of all, um, this journey requires that you shift energetically closer into alignment with your soul. Your soul is who you are. You are not your body. You are not your mind. You are your soul. I mean, I'm my soul. Everyone's their soul. Your soul is also your twin flame, and your soul is also a vibration of pure love. Your soul is infinite, it's all-powerful, it's miraculous, it's love, it's total abundance. Your soul um, knows no fear, it knows no lack, it knows no negativity, knows no pain, no limitation, <laughs> nothing that is of the physical world. Um, so. As you shift energetically closer into alignment with your soul, with all of this, you are also um, becoming love. And you are also becoming aware of your true soul's purpose, your true soul's passions. And um, as you do this, as you shift closer into alignment with your soul, you are energetically pulling your twin flame closer into alignment with your soul as well. Yes, you are consciously doing the work to shift closer into alignment with your soul, but doing that pulls your twin flame closer into alignment with their soul, which is also your soul, um, unbeknownst to them because <laughs> um, they, uh, you know, they're not consciously aware of doing it, right? Um, and that's perfect. Um, but what happens when that happens? So when that happens, and it happens with you as well, as you shift closer into alignment with your soul, like I said, you become aware of your, your true soul's purpose, your true soul's passion, your true soul's desires. Your soul knows all. Your soul knows everything that you desire. It is everything you desire. Your soul doesn't really want. So soul desire is not like human desire where you want something because you don't have it. Soul desire is just who it is. It, it desires itself. That's what it is. And it is everything. And it's everything that you could possibly want or desire. Um, you already are. Um, I think Rumi said that. <laughs> Rumi, um, the great mystic, said, you know, everything, look inside of you, everything you want, you already are. And that's so true because you are your soul and your soul is everything that you want. Stop looking without, look within, right? Um, for everything you want. So as you shift closer into alignment with that soul, with your, which is energy, which is a frequency, which is a vibration. As you shift closer into alignment with that, you are going to magnetize things into your physical world that are more resonant with that vibration and therefore more closely aligned with your soul's desires, your, your true soul's passions, your purpose, all of that, right? Of course, obviously that includes your twin flame, the physical form of your twin flame, because your twin flame is that <laughs> as well. Um, but yeah, so you, you magnetize in that stuff. So the same thing, and I mean, okay, I'll get to that in a second, but then I just want to also add, as you're doing that, you're also becoming way more um, calm and things come up for you that you've never known about yourself. And so you're able to learn so much more about yourself and therefore understand yourself on that soul level and therefore love yourself. 
And you're shifting closer into a vibration of love because that's what your soul is. And so you feel more perpetually just at peace and content and happy and blissful. And so um, as you pull your twin flame closer into alignment with your soul and their soul, because you're the same soul, your twin flame also starts experiencing those things. And things start happening in their lives, in their physical lives that they're magnetizing in that you know are more conducive and resonant with what their true passions and purpose are, which is very closely in line with yours because it's kind of the same because you're the same soul, right? So, um, uh, yeah, so you are doing that. You are, as you shift, you will eventually pull your twin flame closer into alignment with your soul as well, and therefore you. Um, so that's going on. Also, as a leader, you are also balancing out the fear-based push-pull energy of your shared energetic field with your twin flame. Remember, you're the push, twin flame's the pull. So you balance out the push, you automatically balance out the pull because it's the same energy frequency, right? I mean, if it's balanced, it's balanced. So that's why it only takes one twin flame, you, to do this. Um, and so as you do that, um, you know, you are it's balancing out fear. It's actually transmuting it, changing it um, into alchemizing it, into love. So you're taking fear-based energy and transmuting it into love which is awesome. And so having done that, it also um, transmutes and balances out your twin flames fear-based energy. Now, I want to clarify this right here. Not all fear-based energy, right? Um, you know, you're still going to have fear-based energy with everyone else you relate to in the world. Um, this is only regarding your twin flame right now. This is the journey we're on. <laughs> this is the twin flame journey for a reason. It doesn't apply to other areas of your life. So you're still going to have fear-based energy there. Your twin flame will still have fear-based energy with everyone else in their lives, you know, whatever. Um, but this is just regarding both of you. The fear-based energy becomes balanced. And so what also accompanies the fear-based energy that I always say? The addictive behavior. So you will become less obsessed, less addicted to, so to speak, the physical form of your twin flame. As you do that, your twin flame becomes less obsessed, addictive, whatever, to kind of like blocking you or, or avoiding you or, or, you know, getting away from you, that kind of a thing. And many times when they do that, the pull twin flame then has to satisfy their addiction somewhere else. And that could be in other relationships, um, you know, with drugs, with alcohol, with, with gambling, with food, with work, whatever, you know, anything you can find, you can have addictive behavior towards. So whatever addictive behavior they're engaged in due to the fear-based energy of that you guys have going on, um, as you balance out your fear-based energy, you balance that out for them as well. And here's another thing that you do, that you lead. In order to do this stuff, in order to balance out your fear-based energy and the whole act of shifting closer into alignment with your soul is like I said earlier, loving yourself. And in order to love yourself, this is, I'm very big on this, if you guys follow me at all, is setting, establishing and honoring boundaries for yourself and putting yourself first. And by doing that is how you then get your twin flame to mirror that back to you. So you put yourself first, you, you establish and honor your boundaries of what's important to you. And you don't even have to say anything to your twin flame. This isn't about your twin flame, this is about you. But I'm just showing for the purpose of this, this episode how you are the leader. You put yourself first and you honor your boundaries and you establish your boundaries and you just know that and, and you honor them for yourself. Your twin flame is going to start honoring your boundaries and putting you first because they mirror you back, right? That's why they're the mirror. So um, I just wanted to, yeah, explain your role in this journey because you do have a role as well. Obviously, you're doing, you're doing most of the work here and that's fine. That's perfect. That's, that's how it is. Um, you know, the push energy does come find the answers usually and does usually end up doing the work, but it's, it's awesome work and it's, it's just miraculous and it's priceless and it really, um, just, just, I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful journey and I really, uh, you are the most fortunate ones of you and your twin flame to be doing this, <laughs> to know all this and, and to consciously be able to do this, um, for both of you. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the role that you play. Thank you for watching. And, um, I want to remind you that we do have 
free clarity consultations available. So if you would like your very own personalized three-step map to help guide you along your journey, I will put the link to the clarity consultation below here. The three-step map includes, you know, you'll learn how to um, get out of your mind and to stop the obsessive thoughts and to get over the pain, the core wound pain, in whichever chakra you might be feeling it. Um, and then once you do that, you can shift closer into alignment with your soul and then also balance out your fear-based energy. This call is awesome. People just from the call tell us all the time that they have just gained so much, so much clarity and they just feel better after the call as well. And um, so definitely schedule a free clarity consultation. It's totally free, nothing to lose. And I will put the link below this video. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next episode of Twin Flame Truth TV. Have a great week and lots of love.